Hello everyone, welcome back and if you're new to my channel, welcome to Chicken Pops. My name is Hen and I like to play The Sims. I know I always say this, but you know what, it's, it's true. I like to play The Sims. You can see what's happening on your screen. It's The Sims, I like to play it, okay, okay. All right, now most days, on days like today, I like to post build videos here on my channel, but on other days, I also, you know, hop into Create a Sim, where I can create tiny digital people that I either live through vicariously and or I completely torture it. Bella, good grief already. But <laughs> I mess up my words all the time, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I, I, I either live through them, <laughs> I live through them, live vicariously through them. There we go, that, that's, a, that's a better way of saying it. I live vicariously through them <laughs> and or I torture them to within an inch of their sanity um all right so now that that's out of the way i want to know how are you all doing i hope you're all doing good because i know i'm good so i hope that you're doing good let me know in the comments down below how you're doing okay okay good all right so about today's video now i i promised in my my previous video that i was going to renovate uh this this house uh that you saw at the beginning here um it's, it's called the, uh, if I remember correctly, the Modern Masterpiece. And it was a three bed, two bath home that was found or is probably still found to this day. <laughs> I doubt that that's changed, but it's probably still found to this day in the Sims 2 lots and houses bin. For those of you who play the Sims 2 often, you'll, you'll, you'll probably see it, you have probably seen it, you've probably played in it and renovated it and all of that. So in my previous video, I recreated that lot to the best of my ability with what, with what we have in the Sims 4 at this current moment. And it turned out you know pretty decently i i think um like it's it's obviously not the best because not all of the items in the sims 2 and the sims 4 are the same like every iteration of the game has got like you know obviously different doors and windows and you know build mode works a little bit differently all the time so i just i i did my best and it turned out pretty well and yeah so that lot uh, uh in in its in its uh, i guess you could call it its default state is currently on my gallery if you want to play with you know this house in its sims 2 uh to sims 4 uh you know rendition what whatever the heck you want to call it uh, it is on my gallery my gallery id if you want to follow me on the gallery or find this lot on the gallery is chicken pops sims uh there is a link in my description box in case you're interested so you can go and download you know the sims 2 version of this house over there uh yada yada <laughs> i don't i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i'm so sorry um so in my previous video i did say that i was going to give the house a bit of a renovation and i did i had some really good ideas all right but the, not a lot of those ideas panned out when i sort of did this renovation like for example that little back porch area thing that I did in the back that was just sort of like I, I did that on a whim because I, I was running out of ideas uh, and the ideas that I was trying to do on this house they, they didn't pan out quite the way that I wanted them to um, I did make quite a few changes it's like the the two roofs on both sides of the, the quote-unquote original build like the sims 2 version in the sims 4 uh thing like the, the the roofs were way too steep and way too tall so i decided to tone that down just a, a tad bit and so i i made the roofs look a, a bit more I, I guess you could say normal uh, <laughs> like not that there's anything wrong with you know super steep roofs or whatever like I've, I've seen houses with some pretty steep roofs and they look awesome in real life and uh you know but not not so much not so much always in in the sims unfortunately but yeah so i i did in this video i'm, I'm giving the house a bit of a, a better look a more modern look a more sims 4 look like th this house just kind of screams sims 4 to me uh in you know sort of like the the way that it it looks is like does that make sense to anybody like it just it it says sims 4 now um you, do you, you know you know like that that's that's just kind of what it says to me like yes i know the get i know i get it like it, it this is the sims 4 but it just it, it looks like such a a sort of sims 4 build to me like the the way that it sort of turned out this to me is kind of like 
the type of house that EA might use in like a, a promotional picture for a new expansion pack or a new game pack or kit or what it, whatever the heck it is. Um, but like this is this is the type of build that that I kind of see in in promotional images. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? But yeah, so obviously the build is very, very modern and I, I use actually, actually a, a lot of uh, snowy escape windows all throughout. Like they're very plain and basic and I kind of like that because it, it sort of, it, it, it makes them more useful and more versatile uh, because like the the snowy escape windows, if, if you use them correctly, like it could be used on like a super ultra modern build. Um, if, if you sort of, you know, put them in, in the right spot. Sorry, I think I have, I'm getting the hiccups. Uh, <laughs> but if, if you kind of, if, if you use them correctly, it could also be like a, a traditional build. Um, it, it's just like the, the way that you position them can make the, the world of difference to, to any kind of creation that you make. Oh, also that mosquito stuffed door. I, I don't usually use it in, in a lot of my builds. Uh, I, I have or like I used to at one stage use this door all of the time but never really as a front door but I think it really worked for this house I really do I, I freaking I like it and I might do it more often but yeah so with this house uh, right at the beginning I knew that I wanted to have like a little skylight uh, sh you know that that kind of shines into the bedroom like the main bedroom and also to the downstairs i also extended the main bedroom out to be pretty much the entirety of the one side of the house uh, because it, it was just sort of like a little bit of a balcony area before in in the old iteration of this build and i didn't really like that it, it kind of felt like it lacked a little bit of privacy like the the room is still kind of open to the downstairs uh but i, I sort of minimized the the balconiness of it, if you could call it that, um, just to kind of make it, you know, also like slightly more useful. Like the the old room was very very small. Like you could probably just have added like a, a bed and, uh, you know, a, a, a wardrobe and two little side tables, and that that would have been like really really full up. Like the room would have been really really full up. Uh, so that's also why I kind of extended it to make it more useful. Um, now, at, at the end of the day, I did, you know, pretty much just use a bed and a side table. And I did put in two dresses. I also fitted in like a, a mirror and that type of thing. So the, the space just, it, it feels slightly more like, uh, words hand, but it feels slightly more luxurious than it used to. Um, also, I kept the layout of the entire place pretty much the same. I did extend the dining room area a little bit. Like, I made it double volume uh, just for, for a bit of drama. And I added also, uh, at the top of the stairs, you'll see later on, I added like a little coffee station to make it look nice and make it, you know, also just a little bit more luxurious and a little bit nicer. One day when, when, when I'm, when I'm, you know, like a, a proper adult, <laughs> I want, I want to have a house with a really nice coffee station. Um, oh, okay. I see. I see now. Sorry. I was in a bit of a rant, but I see now that we've started furnishing the house. So I started off in the living room and I used some of the, uh, upper cabinets from, uh, what, what's, what was the bloody buggery pack called again? Um, it's called the, 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 uh, ah, yes, Dream Home Decorator, the Dream Home Decorator pack. I used some, some cabinets from there, like the upper cabinets to sort of make a bit of a, a TV unit. And then also just some base game shelves off to the side for a few little decorations. And I use like the super big TV. I can't remember where the bloody TV is from. Um, is it, is it city living or is it like a, uh, I think it's city living. I think it's a city living TV, but it could also be just, you know, one of the special base game unlocks whatever the heck it is uh also uh the book and kit couches came to the rescue once again i still stand by it. these are the most normal looking couches that we have in the game now i did at the beginning uh you know put them down in black but uh yeah that that's that's going to change in a little bit i know i use black too often in all of my builds but like black is my favorite color to build with i think it's versatile i think it looks clean and modern and just sometimes in the case of these couches just very 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 cushy uh yeah so here i am adding a few decorations to the the tv unit 
thing. Um, I used some base game books and then also like that potted plant. And then again, Dream Home decorated that little statue thingy came to the rescue. Uh, I think that uh, little vase that I put on there came from the horse ranch pack. Um, that's also one of my favorite items to use lately. I just, it, it's just like a random little knickknack type thing that you can put in any build. And also a nice little candle there for some ambience in case you know you're sitting in front of the TV and you're watching a little romantic movie with, you know, your significant other and you want to have a nice little candle going. You know, just, just, just to kind of set the mood. Um, also I put a little radio on the shelf uh, so that, you know, you could also sit there and, and listen to some music and then obviously we needed some greenery to make it look nice uh also my favorite curtains coming to the rescue once again uh i i just i i didn't want to block off all of the windows uh you know with with curtains that were too heavy i i feel like the house is the kind of house where you you know you'd, you'd want there to be light coming in especially because the color of the walls are so dark in all of the rooms and all of that um so I, I use my, my favorite curtains. They're kind of sheer, they're kind of, you know, see-through. So, you know, it, it would in real life let more light in and also it doesn't block the view all of the time. Uh, here I am working on the entryway. I kept it really, really simple. I will obviously, of course, you will see in a little bit, I will put down the uh, the little coat rack thing that, that I put in it. Uh, you know, all of my builds, I forgot, I forgot to put down the umbrella stand. It is what it is at this point. It's going to stay that way. I'm not going to go back and uh, put in, you know, a, another uh, umbrella stand thing. Uh, so if, if you want that in your house, you know, go go ahead, put it down <laughs> um, if, if you download it. But yeah, uh, Dream Home Decorator came to the rescue again because I wasn't sure which... Uh, portrait I wanted to use at, like right as you come in the door I, I was sort of thinking about using a mirror but then I thought you know maybe maybe just maybe you know having having a picture you know at, at the front door would be really really nice and welcoming and inviting and all of those nice little things uh, but yeah oh so I, I decided instead of having this house also be a, a three bedroom space I turned one of the bedrooms uh, behind the living room uh, into a little study area. Book Nook Kit came to the rescue again. I love the fact that we can stack those bookshelves. I, okay, all right. So I, I just noticed we, we changed the color of, of the couches. So I, I did make it like a, that, that sort of reddish, purplish kind of whatever the heck the color is. But I did change the color of the couches. Uh, I just thought that it would look a little bit warmer if, if we added some red tones to the house, you know. So I carried the, the reddish kind of tone over to the study as well with the, the chair that we have there behind the laptop. Uh, so that's that's why I chose that exact chair also from dream home decorator again I do I, I, I just I keep on noticing that I, I use a lot of the same packs in all of my builds um, But yeah, 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 no, you know, I think everybody has got their, their favorite items that they use all of the time And I mean, I, I guess I have mine. I should branch out more. I really really should um, But yeah, you know what? I, I like the things that I like and I'm gonna use the things that I want to use so yeah, uh, that, these little items, these little awning things that came with, was it the desert, uh, blah, 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 words again, but the desert lux kit, they're, they're bloody brilliant. I like them so much and I hardly ever use them, but you know what, now, now that I've sort of rediscovered them, I think I'm going to use them a lot more. Uh, also, you'll notice in the city, uh, I put down, um, a little a piano thingy so the the idea in my head was that the person that lives here might be a musician uh, so they'd sort of have the, the keyboard behind their desk so that they can work on some music and then you know transfer it over to their laptop to kind of edit the music and sort of throw a song together and all of that so ho hopefully uh, you know the, the sim that you move in here could Gonna be a bit of a muse so if 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 you don't know the house uh here i'm working on the downstairs bedroom i actually saw this idea on twitter the other day i cannot remember who tweeted it out but those little um wall decorations that came in the horse ranch pack put behind that exact bed they just use like a different swatch but i just thought it was such a bloody brilliant idea also why am i saying bloody so much i've been i've been watching too much uk tv honestly i think um, <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, so I just, I thought it looked really, really nice. And I was just like, I need to incorporate that into one of my builds because it looks so freaking good. Like, don't you think that, I think it looks so nice. I need, I need to remember who posted that picture on Twitter and just sort of tell them like, hey, look, I, I used your idea because I thought it was so, so cool. Um, and I'm, I might do it again because it, it's sort of, it's, it's a custom headboard at this point you know um okay so here we are moving over to the dining area um that rug uh where is that rug from is it is it from um the the backyard kit or the backyard stuff pack whatever the heck it's called but yeah i know i know i know i went with black swatches again i went with dark swatches again but it, I, I, I have to at this point it's it's sort of like it's kind of like a, a signature of mine that all of my builds have to have like at, at least one sort of black room or black doors and windows but like I just I, I had to okay <laughs> I think also the the dining room area turned out really really nice I wouldn't usually have used you know those chairs and that table together uh, as as one but it actually it turned out really really nice I kind of like it okay so here we are in the kitchen uh, I I think like th those tiles they're, they're from um, what's it from spa day yeah from spa day so I thought that th that kind of orangey brownie color would look really well or work really well uh, with the counters that we got with the full rent expansion pack um, also, just so that everybody knows, my videos are sometimes recorded months in advance and then I just sort of, uh, you know, schedule them sort of sporadically in case I don't have time uh, to record anything new for anybody uh, to watch. But yeah, um, I wonder if For Rent is still broken or if EA has actually gotten their nonsense together and fixed the pack. Uh, because the, gl the glitches at this moment, uh, ju also just so that everybody's kind of aware, let me just double, doubly, doubly, doubly make sure of, of the day to day. Today is the 25th of January, okay? Today is the, the 25th of January. So, for rent is still exceptionally buggy. I do know that The Sims Direct sent out a tweet recently where they said that they, they were aware of, uh, you know, the, the bugs and all of that. So hopefully by the time that this video comes out, everything is sorted. I mean, I, I do I do have faith in EA, you know that that they 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 do look into all of the things and do you know pretty much do their best. But sometimes it does get very very frustrating when you want to use a feature from an expansion pack and it just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, moving on. I thought the kitchen turned out really really nicely. Sorry about that rant, but I think the kitchen turned out really really nicely. The swatches work really really well together and um yeah also what, what, what sort of made me use those tones was that it also tied a little bit to the outside of the house with like the the color of the siding that i used on the exterior so yeah uh here i am adding a bit of a pool uh because you know what uh we always need a way to kill our sims so if anybody needs some tips on killing sims i'm, I'm sure there are a ton of other creators that have you know sims death videos out um but yeah so it's but da, 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 words but like it's it's nice to kind of have a pool so you can just throw your sim in there and uh don't don't just delete the the pool ladder just build a little wall or, or a fence around the pool and they will drown okay all right okay glad we got that out there here i am making my little coffee station i i really i love the idea of having like an upstairs coffee station close to your bedroom um it's just kind of nice when you wake up in the morning and you don't want to go all the way downstairs to make yourself a cup of coffee and then there's just maybe one ac across the hallway uh here i am working on the actual hallway that kind of connects the two sides of the upstairs um and yeah hot tub very very important also you know for some rest and relaxation especially for the music that i kind of had in mind living here they, they'd want to they'd want to kind of relax in the hot tub and then here i am obviously working on the main bedroom uh, you'll see how that turns out in a little bit i used a lot of green in here it turned out really really nicely and also i put the bed there just so that they can also maybe if if you're lying down you can sort of look out of the the nice little skylight that i built and also i edited out the the bathroom thing is because bathrooms are boring and they're pretty much just you know the the beige beckies of every house and yeah so that that's it that's it that's the entire build i'm gonna do some landscaping and all of that at the end of the video as well but let me let me do my little closing and everything <laughs> because i'm i'm pretty sure you guys are, are sick of 
of hearing my voice at this point. So I'm, I'm sorry you had to listen to me rant. Um, put, put the video on mute if you want to. Put my videos on mute and, and watch them that way. I'm sure it'll be it'll be easy on your ears. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to be pretty much it for me today, you guys. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you for, for coming here. You could have chosen to come or go, rather. To, <laughs> you could have gone to anybody else on YouTube and you came to hang out here. And I, I really do. I know I just said that, but I appreciate each and every one of you so 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 much um if you want to download this house it will be uploaded to my gallery as i said earlier on my gallery id is chicken pops sims it's the same as my twitter or x handle if you want to follow me on twitter or x or whatever the heck you want to call it do that have a conversation with me there uh, also if you haven't yet please remember to give the video a like uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet also if you like sims content you know st stick around i i tend to release quite a, quite a few videos <laughs> I'm I think I think I'm I'm you know at about two videos a week at this point. Um so yeah. Also leave me a comment down below if you have absolutely anything to say. Uh you can say absolutely anything. Um roast the build, roast my voice, roast my voice over, do whatever the heck you want down there. Um just be kind and respectful to everybody else in the comment section because you never know what anybody else is going through. Uh but I'm fine. You you can you can roast me. I, I don't mind. Uh screenshots will be up at the end. Um like you know, usual. Uh I th I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, uh, again, thank you so so much for, for coming by. I appreciate you and I hope I get to see you all next time. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>